Greetings to you all, and welcome back to this co-op let's play of Psycho Death 2 3. It's a co-op let's play between myself, Ortega Omega, and this chap over here. Over where? He doesn't want to identify himself as the Rusa. Yeah, I'm the Rusa. Hey. I pronounce his name differently to he does. Clearly I am right hey. and he is wrong. What hey, how you doing? You good? You sat there comfortably? Yes? Stop yeah. flirting with the audience. Oh yeah, this is what I do. Kill him. Hang on, I have to do my fancy transformation thing. I can't possibly just walk around in wearable form. I have to transform every single fight. Because that way, when the fight's over, I get to uh, look even more badass as I change back. Sneaky grill. We're being ambushed from behind by a baby. Stay now. Nice. He didn't do a good job of eating you there, did he? Oh! That was pretty swish. Pretty swish. How do we feel about a, uh, yeah. a portal wire to heal us all up? Yeah, go on. Now, as ever before, we need to get Angela to toss out the portal walls. Because that will heal us the most. So a big thanks to Angela for that. Ooh. 100 apiece. Not bad. It's like a round drop for us. Three round drops for one oil. It's pretty good. We need more oils, really. Oh, oh fair. Damn it, Angela. You're wasting stuff. Wasting our stuff. However, does this pathway not look ominous? Yeah. Could a boss be approaching? And what thing will we save in? Number one, of course. We got a good system going now. So, ominous pathway, golden goddess. I sense a boss. I but I'm wrong! This cave just never ends. Let's all attack on this guy! You be dead. I wonder if anybody knows where You Be Dead comes from. Congrats if you do. Next! It's a stunning game. Well done for playing it. Angela's not doing anything once again. Good job, Angela. Another ominous looking passageway. G game. Game. Could this be a boss? Game. Oh, Seriously. Maybe. No boss. I want a cave that's just constant, those passages, so you're scared every time you go through the door. No boss game. Here comes the boss! We're trapped, it's time for a boss. Game. Looks like it's gonna be a vampire type guy. Called Jagan, or Jagan, or something like that. That's a good question, who is this Dark Prince? I imagine he'd be a lot more pissed at the fact that, you know, Twilight have kind of ruined the reputation of vampires nowadays. That's true, but he predates Twilight. He's good, he's good. Right. This is back when they were, you know, badass. Yeah. So apparently the volcano is going to erupt any minute and that will kill us, which means we are inside the volcano. The volcano of water. Yay. It's an evil volcano, this is. We're gonna die. Oh, no. What a foolish move coming into this. This room was. But wait. There he is! Yay! He's a swish looking chap. You would have seen him before, but if you haven't, well, here's your first chance of looking at him. Doesn't he look funny? He's got a backpack, which is in fact a shell. He's got goggles, so he doesn't get water in his eyes, and he has a flag on his back. This is our turtle friend with a mohawk. He's awesome. I love that explosion. <laughs> Yeah, the sound doesn't really merit a volcano erupting, does it? There he goes. So we're now riding to safety on this turtle who really likes us and is going to give us a hand. He's a happy turtle. He's a very happy chap and he has really happy music, just listen. Hey, miss. It's that graphical glitch we always see. There it is. This glitch is always <laughs> here for some reason. <laughs> that whole band of the earth is just, you know, disjointed from everything else. Half stop for some reason. 
We're not controlling the turtle, by the way. He's swimming of his own accord. He's taking us to that flashing red blip. Which is near a town. I can't remember its name. I think it's the one with uh, Bon Voyage and his cannon. I think it's that town. You don't see very much of the world map, so it's hard to recognise places from the world map. But I believe this is that town near Bon Voyage. So he gave us a lift. Dumped us off on this beach. And now we're going to continue our quest. If you recall, we took the ghost ship because we wanted to go to Forcina, your hometown, to talk to the king, to ask him where the rest of the mana stones were, and the spirits. Then we got stuck on the old ghost ship, which got us the dark spirit, so that was great. And we crashed onto that island. Now we're back on track. So I now we just need to make our way back I miss to... him already. Alright, I know. It's okay. We've got Angela. Right, it's little. It's time to go. But a big thanks to him for taking us here to the Golden Road. If you haven't seen enough of the Golden Road, here's a bit more for you. Now, we did say before there was a passageway down here. Oops, I didn't mean to actually go through it. God damn it. Passageway down there, which we would explain later on. Well, there you go. It's a beach. You can go there earlier on, but it's just a deserted beach. And you can't do anything. Okay. So we need to make our way back to your hometown, and we know a good way of getting there, do we not? Yeah. In first? We can in first, if you'd like to. Yeah. Which means not, not that badly hurt, in all honesty. We have some seeds we can use, mate. Oh, for that money! Good uh, morning! We're not crazy people who get up in the middle of the night. Dance away, you crazy diamond. Diamond? Is it Neil Diamond? I don't know. Hmm. It's a saying. I just thought I'd use it. Uh. I don't know where it comes from. Anyway, seeds. seeds. Only you can open the menu with the seeds. I mean this menu. That's the one. Take out whatever you want for now and just swap it out with seeds and we'll, uh, you know, we'll swap them all back over in a second. So we have one item seed. We've seen that before. A mysterious seed, I don't think we've seen any of those before. And a flying item seed, that's new as well, I do believe. But okay, you wanna go get planting those? We'll see what we get. Bar of chocolate, very nice. Mysterious is gonna give us a magic walnut. Have we explained those yet? No. Nope. I'm not sure. Those are the MP restoring items of the game. Think ethers. They give you 20 MP. Very handy for Angela in the big boss fights when she starts to run low. And we got a pumpkin bomb. That's another item we can just lob at the enemy violently. Yeah. Is the red stuff? Now, as far as items we want, we want the round drop. Chocolate and all that stuff. So if you don't want the pumpkin bomb, probably want some scales, maybe, or the honey drinks if you like, something like that. Ah, oh, that, that that'll that do it worse for now. Better whatever you like in the. Oh no, actually, yeah, leaving that slot empty is a good idea because we're going to get a new item soon. That we are. Hee <laughs> hee. We do need to restock a bit on chocolate and sweets. Yes. Which is this one. We didn't use any of our angel grails, so credit to us. We generally only use them in boss fights, as you've seen. We don't tend to bother. Speaking of which, the game listened to me! That's right, there were no bosses! Very long cave, tough enemies, no bosses. It's a nice change. Yes. Let's uh, go. Thank you, game. Thank you. Uh, I love you, game. I do. I do. It will I love punish you. you later on. I love you, game. I do. It will punish you. I know you. I, I, I do. I, I know. I, I've seen your face. 
Oh, grief. <laughs> I know you. I do. You open the arch. Why you just go back? I, I like to talk to the people. Vinny it's looks polite. weirder. We're going, to, we're going to use his it's cannon system. It's polite to ask him. He's almost as weird looking as you. We're in a different league. Hiya! Hey! Now, has he missed? Well, he did miss last time. He wasn't very reliable. Looks oh, good. A oh, bit of a swerve on that. He, he's been practicing, bless him. Mm -hmm. Anyway. One of these days we'll land on someone else. One of these days. Angela. She's tending to my wounds. You go speak to the king. See? That's how she tends. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad choice of animation for the game to play. <laughs> So, oh, Mr. King, who is always directly forwards as soon as you enter the king, uh, the castle. Mm -hmm. I said, why, why won't one of the castles learn one day and just put them off to the left and send people like charge straight in, and then they're able to flank them when they, you know? Yeah, I would fool all those attackers. Anyway, it's your king. You do the chat. Yeah. Light, earth, wind, and darkness are ours. That's half of the spirits. Does that mean half of the game is done? Well, you know, it's going to be a little bit tucked on the end, isn't it? When we've got them all. We have to go and get the sword after all. That's why we're getting the spirits. All eight spirits. So we can open the gate to the manor holy world and get that sword. And then we can revive Carl. That's our big quest, I do believe. Uh, no, it's class change. So I can beat that guy. You can class change without the manor sword. Exactly, so... Yeah. So we're doing it for Carl. We don't necessarily have to revive you down We're doing path. it for Carl. You can get another one. You can't get another one. You can. We can revive Carl. And you can Understood. call him Carl Lee. Calling him Carl Lee. Anyway, we should be paying attention to these dots, but they will be forever visible on the map for us, so we can check them back at any time. We don't have to remember them. Indeed. There's your fire thing you're on about all the time. There's the fire one, yep. It's not in the volcanic island, which is a little on. It's in fact in a desert. But there, it's called the Valley of Flames. That's not a bad place for it, I guess. Salamando, the happiest spirit of all. Yeah. Rivaling gnome there. We saw the water one. It's up in the, uh, the ice kingdom. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. So we'll have to go there. This one in the middle of the forest is... Take your bets. No, you got it completely wrong. It's Moon. That's right. Moon in the middle of the forest. That's where the beastmen live. That's our stone that we're very, very proud of. And I'm sure my people will be happy to help. Your people hate you. Once we kill them, they'll be happy to help. And the final one is situated over here in the middle of this forest. Because there's lots of forests in this world. And that is the Man of Stone of Wood. Inaccessible by land, so no idea how we're going to get that one. Apparently that one's protected by elves. Yeah. And the fairy king! The fairy king who commands the elves, quite possibly the most fearsome army known to man. Definitely. Buscaboo, the giant turtle. Yes, we like that chap. He's awesome. Perhaps he did, perhaps he did. This looks good. Give us it then. Let's go now. Let us acquire this flute. <laughs> We're gonna open this chest. Bang! The Piyara Flute, with a crazy name. That can be used to summon Buskaboo on any beach. And we will need Buskaboo to reach the other four spirits. Indeed. Spirits to be found, spirits to be had, in the upcoming videos. It's going to be the end of another one. Hopefully you'll join us as we continue on our quest. Bye-bye, everybody.